Seven minutes after 11 local on a glorious Texas day. And Greg Quinn Ewers is back at quarterback. He's out in the slot on second and seven. Ewers will get it complete for a first down to Whittington. Ewers pulls it and gets it to Sanders. Look at him go. JT Sanders, who is so dynamic. Robinson, that'll move the chains. And as he gets one final push, let's see if Burnt Orange for 50% of his cotton ball. Ewers, easy pitching catch to Whittington. And he's inside the 30-yard line, Jordan Whittington. Down in distance for Sark to do something with it here. And Johnson, look at that desire of Pat Leverage. Here's Worthy. Xavier Worthy! Right at that line to gain. 300 pounders from the defensive side. Robinson! Flag is down as he crosses the goal line. Offside. Number eight, defense. This is Farouk. And a good gainer out to the 48-yard line. And Willis, starting tight end, great-looking athlete, taking the direct snap. Farouk again turns the corner, and again that'll move the chains for the Sooners. Fourth and two. Willis, as he spins his way for a first down to the 26-yard line. Schmidt is five and six on the season. It is a fake. Surge definitely wasn't there, and that's a turnover on downs. A hook of wall stops Eric Gray. Johnson, that'll move the chains for Texas. Oh, Clemson, D.C., 7.30 on ABC. Quinn Ewers extends the play, and a reaching effort by Whittington to dive and secure it. Ewers turns around, goes back to Johnson. Well-designed play. Roshan ripping it up. Big gainer. Chunk play. Horns. Ewers out of the backfield. Robinson is interesting. As he came with the reverse motion, he actually slipped on the turf. Pulls the balls on the 10-yard line. Ewers to the end zone. He's their own 15, and they have two long touchdown drives. Ewers. It looks so easy for him right now to Jordan Whittington. Ewers trying to find an option. Third and six, and Bijan Robinson. On territory for Texas. Robinson untouched until that point, gliding for a first down. This is Robinson on second and six. Keelan Robinson will take it in for another Longhorns touchdown. Some points before half. This is Farouk, and look at him turn the corner. Jalil Farouk, past midfield, still going. Against those big bodies up front. Gray on third and two. There it is. And there it is. And Gray all the way down near the 20-yard line. Levy. And they don't. Gray's going to pop pass it, and it's intercepted. Barron's got it. They tried to change it up. Eric Gray took a step to the line, went with the pop pass, and Jade Barron picks it off. See if the Sooners defense can get a stop on third and 11. When Ewers pressured, he's going to tuck, run, try to get there, and he does. And in fact, dives ahead all the way to the 46. 
Ewers on third and four. It's another first down as he gets it to Gunnar Helm, the sophomore from Inglewood, Colorado. First manages the final half minute here. How about taking a strike with it? And the flag will come out. Pass interference, number 21, defense. Remaining. Ewers, look at this! J.T. Sanders! Every which way, it is Burton Orange, it is Texas Longhorns, and it is a heck of a first half out of Quinn Ewers. What a throw on the seam. It's pretty well covered. It's pretty well defended. Now Oklahoma needs to find anything, absolutely anything they can. And it's an interception. It is Deshaun Jameson who sat back and just got on the jackpot end of that bevel rainbow to the formation with Willis taking a direct snap. As he gives to Gray, and Gray able to turn the corner and go ahead for 11 yards and a first down to start the second half. Your own 44. Bevel. He lost a yard. A turnover on downs to start the second half as Diamante Tucker Dorsey stayed with Devis Bevel and made the tackle. The long incompletion. Johnson, the running back on third and three. That combination of C, size, and power. And with that power, he leans into it for a first down. Not back into coverage. He was on third and nine, was forced back. And this ball is intercepted. He tried to float it out, but C.J. Paulden with the interception. Running back been a little bit more forward. He might have been tossed. Third and eight. Marcus Major only gets maybe a half a yard. Anthony Cook was there. <laughs> and the rest is history. Second and seven. Ewers easily goes to Whittington for another first down, and they're inside the 30. Good to see who's with you and who's against you down the road. That's a very good point. Just simply effort at this point. When you see a score like this, when you've been dealing with the past two weeks alone. The players on the field right now. Bijan Robinson. And he's going to walk it right in. He could downshift and bring it in. Grandpa Cleo and the family high-fiving as Bijan has another touchdown. This one from 11 yards out. And much after a hit like that, given the current circumstances on the scoreboard. Roshan Johnson will have the first down, and then he is swung out of bounds. They want to sit back and enjoy every second of this. Look at the effort from Johnson. Oh. It's really what you want. You want the middle and the bottom to be that good. To the end zone and add to the day for Quinn Ewers and J.T. Sanders. 18-yard touchdown. Nice way to come back off the injury. And just darting right through the defense is Keelan Robinson. Difficult. You can find out a lot about the guys you're going to build your program with in the future in situations like this. It's difficult when you don't really know who you are to play good quality defense. Brooks again, and look at him go! And it's another Texas touchdown, Jonathan Brooks! Bush walk off with the trainers, third down and 12. Bevel, he's going to be sacked again. Third, fourth time that's happened. We could be in real, real trouble. They're down in five brooks, but I just love what that report Katie gave about how Sark appreciates a lot of ways. Jaden Blue continues to bleed this clock for Texas. 2009 against Nebraska the last time they didn't have 